हेलो आई आनंद जैन फ्रॉम हनुमानगढ़ राजस्थान वेलकम्स यू टू योर फेवरेट श्रीदेवी क्लासेज यूट्यूब चैनल वेयर वी इनकल्केट इंटरेस्ट एंड कॉन्फिडेंस इन साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट्स टुडे इन आवर प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एस्टिमेशन वेल अंडरस्टैंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एस्टिमेशन एंड अंडरस्टैंड वट इज प्रिलिमिनरी और रफ एस्टिमेट वट एग्जैक्टली इज डिटेल्ड एस्टिमेट एंड वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन रिवाइज एस्टिमेशन एंड सप्लीमेंट्री एस्टिमेशन सो लेट स्टार्ट different type of estimates mainly for a project there are four type of estimate and one is approximate rough or preliminary estimate one real estimate is detailed estimate and sometimes we have to make revised estimation or supplementary estimation approximate estimate is also known as rough estimate or preliminary estimate now such rough or approximate estimate are prepared to work out just an approximate cost of a project that to in a small effort in a short period without going into all the details such rough or approximate estimate doesn't require any detailed investigation of the project or all the design and drawing details hence they save both time and money in estimation now the key purpose of rough estimation is a preliminary financial evaluation of the project just to enable the owner to consider the business idea in the project generally such rough estimate are prepared by comparison of existing project with similar type of other projects using the practical knowledge and experience of estimator many a times just a covered plinth area in square meter is used and comparison of project for which estimation is required and the similar type of project executed earlier can fetch approximate estimated cost of the project we can also use approximately the quantities of material and labor involved in that project approximately and with a tentative rate approximate rough cost of project can be obtained after a rough estimation if it is observed that the cost of project is very high and finance for the same is not available with the organization then such project may be abandoned without preparing the detailed work of estimation now this will save the cost of preparation of detailed estimation as even otherwise after detailed estimation such project cannot be executed due to paucity of finance available with the organization so we can summarize pros and cons of rough estimation the advantage of rough estimation or pros points of rough estimation are rough estimation can be obtained even when only limited specification and detail of project is available now this helps clients to find out approximate budget requirement and it is relatively quick and economic method of cost evaluation but there are some demerit or cons of rough estimation the degree of accuracy of rough estimation is very low compared to other techniques and sometimes it will have considerable amount of error in estimation detailed estimate is a document of considerable detail and it include specification of all material involved in project installation it also include detailed specification and work schedule for method of doing the work detail estimate got all information of relevant measurements so that we can find out quantities of all sort of materials and the work to be performed in electrical installation it also involve all relevant drawing and other details with all necessary technical specification and commercial details now in a detailed estimate first after specification of all material and works the quantity is obtained and then corresponding to material or work detail respective rates are assessed and by multiplication of rate with quantity we can find out amount of all individual material and works and the summation of all those will give us the cost of project the total amount of labor charges for any electrical installation is determined by either of the following two methods in one electric point method which is very simple method and very popular in domestic and commercial building electrification projects in this electric point method just the total number of points in the building are first counted out 
Now, along with number of points, we also include installations of all switch boards and all main boards. When we count main boards, it is counted as two times the number of circuit in the distribution board. So whole electric installations become simply the total number of points. And finally, the total labor charges are found by considering a flat rate of say 200 to 300 per point, say 250 rupees per point for concealed conduit wiring. And we can find out the total labor cost involved in any building electrification. In second, a fixed percentage method can be used. Now in this system, we first count the total material cost involved in project by counting the quantity and rates of those items and then labor charges may be considered as 20 to 30 percent of total cost of wiring material so labor cost is treated as a percentage part of material cost and roughly it is taken as 20 to 30 percent depending upon type of project in detailed estimate apart from material cost and labor cost we make provision for other expenses like unexpected contingency charges some lump sum cost components cost of work charge establishment and supervision and overhead on the project so supervision and other cost are added along with material and labor cost and that will give us total project cost in all project estimation it was found that during project implementation there can be certain unexpected emergency expenses which cannot be calculated while we estimate for material cost and labor charges for the project now such unexpected emergency expenses are called as contingency and they are certain expenses which are incidental in nature and one cannot predict them beforehand with a reasonable accuracy so a percentage of three to five percent of material and labor cost is added for contingency charges to allow petty expenditure or unforeseen expenditure due to changes in design change in rate structure which may occur during execution of work in any project lump sums are small petty items such as screws for different fasteners saddles insulating tapes junction box so many hardware component and other miscellaneous items for which detailed quantity estimation cannot be taken out easily or otherwise it will take lot of time to find details of such small items during the electrical installation work on any project considerable number of skilled supervisor work assistant watchmen caretakers are employed on temporary basis and one cannot predict and calculate the exact expenditure on these work charge establishment so to lump sum items and work charge establishment a certain percentage 2 to 2.5 percent of material and labor cost is added as lump sums to meet expenditure of such small petty items or work charge establishment we can say a lump sum is a price amount of the entire project or the scope of electrical installation work where no breakdown is given for individual component of expenditure and a one time cost is calculated to all such activities contingencies are charges of vague nature of unfortunate or unexpected conditions or they are unforeseen expenditure which occur due to delay in project execution mismanagement of material or labor or minor accidents or natural calamities now these additional emergency expenses may be due to increase in cost of material or labor rates during execution of electrical installation work so for all such unforeseen conditions 3 to 5 percent of material and labor cost is estimated as additional expenses and such additional expenses are known as contingencies and this contingency amount 3 to 5 percent amount of material and labor cost can fully compensate the additional material cost labor cost or other allied expenses which otherwise could not be considered in a detailed estimation work in any project execution certain amount of overhead charges 
incurred daily on project organization though they are not directly connected to project execution now these overhead charges includes salary of all administrative staff the rent component of different positions for organization carry charges for material handling traveling expenses of staff members advertisement electricity water charges or postage telephone or communication charges even there are some overhead charges in terms of various type of spare parts some allowances for wear and tear of fixed assets is also required we have to maintain and repair all tools and equipment which are used in project implementation and all those charges are included in overhead charges on project various taxes insurance amount and even depreciation charges on components legal cost and some bad debts all fall in this overhead charges category in project execution every organization have certain departments and all salary expenses of purchase account store housekeeping sections etc are part of overhead charges and for a big organization we can take normally 10 to 15% of total estimated material and labor expenses as overhead charges one important part of detailed estimate is abstract of cost in detailed estimate first the detailed particular of quantities and rate of all items which are involved in project implementation are considered thereafter the quantities of items are multiplied by their respective rates and these rates come from basic schedule of rates or from market survey and a separate sheet known as abstract of cost is prepared now in abstract of cost all the values must be checked by a second person and who tick mark the checked values in other color ink and if required corrections are made but all corrections are first cross checked now total of cost of all items gives the estimated cost of the work of the project which include all material and labor cost now all other expenses such as overheads supervision contingency or lump sums etc are also added in this estimated cost as per decided percentage that is required for satisfactory completion of the project and all these other expenses overhead supervision contingencies or lump sum are added with the abstract of cost and final abstract of cost is prepared now this is the best and most accurate estimated value of project detailed estimate of any electrical installation project is generally accompanied by following things there is a detailed project report along with detailed estimate now all detailed specification of material and workmanship are mentioned with all important technical details detailed estimate is also have all the required drawings plan of the project schematic wiring diagram and the conduit plan describing the path of wire and cable in the project now in detailed estimate there is a specific table showing calculation of quantities of all items of material and work now in detailed estimate how rates are decided those particular of rate of item or work are also mentioned in case if basic schedule of rates of any department is referred then it should be mentioned otherwise the rate analysis is also given detailed estimate also have a abstract of estimated cost in a tabular easy to refer form so we can say such detailed estimate is used for final technical sanctions administrative approvals and finally detailed estimate is become basis for execution of contract with different contractor and suppliers in special circumstances some electrical installation project have to use revised estimate now these revised estimate are also detailed estimate but they are for revised quantities or revised rate of items of work which are originally provided in original detailed estimate 
but this revision of quantity or rates is without any deviation in original design of the project or the specification which are approved in original detailed estimate so with the same design and specification if quantities or rates have any deviation then it will require a revised estimate normally revised estimate are prepared when area of measurement of approved plan changes or rates of material or labor charges changes over and above 5% so revised estimate is that estimate which include revised quantity or revised rates of items of work in some extraordinary conditions a project may use supplementary estimate in a project when some additions or changes are done in original work which is in progress and such changes or additions are not included in original estimate then a fresh detailed estimate known as supplementary estimate is prepared to supplement the original approved work all supplementary estimates are also accompanied by all the papers as required in through detailed estimate so it's a rigorous exercise similar to detailed estimate and an approval of competent higher authority is also required to implement supplementary estimate for any project in fact supplementary estimate represent the negligence of original detailed estimate and it is used to cover that for successful implementation of project one can compare revised estimate and supplementary estimate a uh, supplementary estimate is work out for the work which are not presented in original design and it need approval of higher competent authority whereas revised estimate is work out when there is a deviation in material or labor cost from original design proposal without change in design and specification of original work as the project cost has changed beyond contingency coverage so it need revised estimate but there is a significant change in project design or details then a supplementary estimate with all exercises as required in detailed estimate is worked out we hope this learning video has explained all types of estimates which are used in electrical project installation now you understand what is approximate or rough estimate what exactly required in detailed estimate and what are revised and supplementary estimates our other learning video of the same playlist are equally useful in preparation of this estimation subject you can use them in your learning as well as you can share them with your friends and if you need exam centric notes of this or other subject do join youtube membership of shridevi classes happy learning have nice time thank you very much